J.K. Calloway here with Siobhan jumping back into the Umbrella Academy. Season 3, Episode 2. It's called The World's Biggest Ball of Twine. It's in Minnesota. It is here in Minnesota. We're in Minnesota. Why? We're going there? If that's where they're going? What's in... What's, what's there? Is there something in the middle? Is there a treasure? Maybe. Let's go. I've never been. Let's go. Where is it? It's like three hours away, right? I think so, Something yeah, like it's... that. It's middle of fucking nowhere. The last we left off was mostly just learning about the Sparrow Academy and what they're all about, why they're there instead of the Umbrella Academy, which was essentially the Umbrella's Cam Umbrella Academy's fault words uh, because of what happened in the 60s when they met Hargraves. Uh, but something's going on in the house with some kind of zero point situation? I don't know, what would you call it? I don't know, but you play Fortnite. <laughs> uh, I got that from Mass Effect, but okay. Oh, okay. Still a video game. That's where most of my stuff comes from. It looks like a lava ball floating in the air. Like, Mom seems to be worshipping it for some reason, and the last thing we saw was almost released some kind of EMP looking thing. It went out for a while and then came back, but when it came back, it clearly killed some stuff. Including yeah. Marcus, which is Sparrow Academy's number one. Yeah. And a dog. Which more, is more importantly, a dog. More importantly, a dog. But killing Marcus is a problem because now yeah. they think that her name's not Eleven. Um, Were you going to say Eleven? I was going to say Eleven. Vanya? Vanya. Ooh, who would win in a fight? Eleven or Vanya? Ooh, the Netflix battles. They should make that a show. But yeah, Vanya and Marcus had a little powwow. Right, and, and Crow Girl saw it. Right. Or Raven Girl, and, uh, and so now they're gonna think that Vanya had something to do with Marcus. Had something to do with Marcus. Well, disappearance. Right. Because how they gonna? Well, unless know Mom tells them. Right, but what? what no what, one would think to ask. Right. You know, they're, they're not gonna be like, "Hey, by the way, did you see Marcus? Yeah, he got absorbed. It was glorious." So I don't know what that is yet. It's gonna be very interesting going forward. But as far as they know, the Umbrella Academy, that is, they think they're good. Like, yep. they think they're kind of in the clear. There's a lot of issues going on, like their doppels, which they spoke about. We know we're going to see them eventually. <laughs> At least some, and it's going to be fucked up. World's biggest ball of twine. Do we have any twine in the house? Good. Seems like a useless product at this point. It's for crafting. We don't do and that. putting things together. Nope. We just buy Google stuff. Basically. But yeah, let's jump back in and see what the fuck is next. Here we go. Marcus last night. Wait, what? You talked with the enemy? By yourself? Yeah, well, somebody had to do something. Who elected you, Vanya? It's, uh, Victor. Who's Victor? Hmm. Go. Cool. I am. Uh, is that an issue for anyone? <laughs> no, I'm good. Yeah, me too. Cool. Truly happy for you, Victor. We made a deal. He's gonna give back five sprees case, and then we're gonna get out of the timeline. We're gonna meet later today for the um, the handover. Oh, that's weird. Like, Victor looks great with the haircut. Diego? No, I miss Diego's hair. <laughs> uh oh, 
another one. Shit. Like there's no lobsters. Excuse me? There were three lobsters in that tank a minute ago. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. you know, maybe Chet blended them into a morning smoothie. Ah, there he is. Please, join us. It's okay. Nobody's gonna hurt you. We haven't formally introduced yet. I'm Ben, number two. It is so good to see you again, buddy. Wait, uh, what about, um, number one? What about him? Where is he? That's what we'd like to know. We took our number one, so we took you. Wait, we took Marcus? <laughs> Why would we do that? My family will come for me. Wonderful. In the meantime, make yourself at home. Well then, here we come. That just doesn't seem like the best idea. We are going to Pennsylvania to find my birth mother. Yay! I'm sorry. You couldn't have known because... He didn't know. No, I didn't fully. Right. I just can't live in that box anymore. I won't. You know, I always hated mirrors. Thought everybody felt so strange in their skin. What do you see now? Me? Your family, Victor. Okay? And there's nothing, nothing that would make me love you less. I don't know why, but I thought it'd be a lot bigger. Seems pretty big to me. Yeah. Here's the real question. How do you know your birth mother's in Pennsylvania? But instead, I found a treasure trove of our family history told in expired check stubs. Rachel Hirschberger? How do you know it's that one? I was too messed up to uh, do anything about it, too scared to look her up. Now it just felt like a good a time as any to find out who I could have been if I didn't grow up in this stupid family. But what is family? What is it? It's like some kind of giant ball of twine that can never be untangled. I'm glad you came along. You're a good brother. You say nice things about me now. Uh, let's go find your stupid mother. Do you not know what happens when you punch him? Right. Like... Well, listen, it's a co-winky dick. Only thing I see is yours, tough guy. What? Leave now, or I'm gonna spank you like the little bitch you are. Take your best shot, Tubby. Because if he hits... Tell me when you be mine. Doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> Dude, your chin. Does that sometimes? I'm confused. Like, it's not every time he hits. No. I'm so confused. Oh shit! and walks away lives to fight another day, okay? That's some lame ass shit. Yeah. I, I, I'm looking for Rachel Hirschberger. No Rachel. Oh, okay, well, that's a shame. Walk your fancy boots back to town where you belong and leave us be. Okay. <laughs> All right. We need to get your knickers in a twist there. Tell him let the boys speak. You're upsetting the women folk. But I want you to know that you have ruined the Amish for me forever in here. Ruined! It's okay, Sarah Beth. He's leaving. Interesting. Sarah Beth knows something. Oh, yeah. She wanted him to speak. This house, it's all I've ever known my entire life. And I know there are better places out there in the world, and... I spent a little time on the moon. What? That is so cool! You think so? <laughs> yeah! 
wow. Oh the my, moon. Oh my god, no one ever thinks that's cool. Yes. <laughs> Clearly a lot further. All of it. I wasn't sure what kind you like best. To create all of them. To create all of them. You know Rachel, don't you? She's my sister. Oh. <laughs> She's been dead for over 30 years. Oh. So, uh, how did she die? Brain hemorrhage. What about her son? What's up? Wait, wh when did she die again? She passed October 1st, 1989. It's my birthday. You need to leave. Now. Oh. Go now. So she died in childbirth. I take it. But, what does that mean exactly? Oh, Jesus. Start the car! Jesus, what is it? Rachel's death was unusual and, and she wasn't the only one. Come on! Get in the car, oh. Klaus! You have our eyes. English. House, it's now or never! English. My mom died here before I was even born. <laughs> what did you just say? What are you looking at? There's that dude. Now we know which time he was in, because it was a yep. little fuzzy. Right, we weren't told, but what is this? She stole her powers, okay. You're his dad. I'll let you dad. Like, okay. oh, at least you have a kid. Right, like... Who are they? These are our mothers. That was mine. They're all dead. They all died on the exact same day, October 1st, 1989. It's our birthday. Not anymore, it isn't. If we weren't born, how can we exist? Exactly. What are you saying? I'm saying when we jumped here, we created a time paradox. <laughs> Yes, we are being watched. What by who? My family. They're crazy. But I want to let you know I meant every word I said, especially about them. Things look so beautiful, and we try to see. That'd be fun. Let's try it. Get up. Neither of us can float. We just have to jump. At the same time. And then just stay there. Well, that's nice. Luther found someone. And I'm right. sure it's similar, similar situations for Sloan. Right? Um, yeah, but now but. because they gotta go back to a different point, none of that's gonna happen. Sloan's not, and Luther's gonna get crushed. Right. So, yeah, I don't like, are they gonna go back? Because Lila's got the suitcase now. As far as we know, the only one that works. Right. So all their moms are dead. They all died before right. they were born. So they don't, none of them exist. Right. Apparently. Correct. So, now we know because like I, I remember saying in the first episode of this season oh six i just guessed 16. like uh, there mm -hmm. must be 16. no in the first season there was 43. Mm -hmm. why is there such a discrepancy now right right why did it go well, from 43 to 16 when apparently that many moms died before yeah. why that's interesting also did we ever find out what the hell that's all about why that one day so many moms gave birth to babies they weren't pregnant with that day no it might have something to do with the lava ball maybe yeah don't know because like mom didn't say like create like it's creating something. right 
Well, and it was... We saw the gold fleck sparkly fairy dust go into Ben's mom. Right. We saw that dust in the with the ball. So Did you? Mm-hmm. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was... That you saw the dust go down. Like, it followed the through the house's uh-huh. insides to the ball. I want to go with Vince. I couldn't think of a word. <laughs> All right, so that that's interesting going forward. I don't know what the hell is happening, you know. But apparently Klaus is Amish, although he's not, clearly. Right, but, you know, but then his aunt said, you have her eyes. Right. Right. But if she died so, like, before there's Klaus something, was born, right. so I don't know. I don't know was it, so it all said brain aneurysm, right? Where Which could have been a story. Could have been a story where they all actually died in childbirth. Right. To do all of the organ rearranging. In one day? All of the nutrient giving. It, yeah, you'd die if that happened in, like, a five-second period. I liked how they handled the Vanya Victor thing. Yep. Kind of kept it simple. Made a little more story, a little more explanation mm-hmm. for Allison. But no, it was kind of like, yeah, this is who yep. I am now. Yep. Cool. All right, cool. Cool. Let's move on, please. Excellent. That was good. And I hope we don't hear about it again. Honestly. Right. Don't make it a thing. Shouldn't be a thing. Well, the sparrows are going to ask. Are they? If they run into Victor, yes. Hmm. Well, we'll see. But Because they need to talk to Victor because they know that Victor was the last one to see Marcus. Yeah. So it'll be, I mean, it'll probably just be brought up real like, what now? Oh, okay, fine. Victor, what'd you do with Marcus? Right. We'll see. But I like how they handled it so far. It was cool. I was worried they were going to make it a bigger thing. It's like, no. That's more or less the way the character's been going the, fir- the first two seasons, yeah. you know? So it kind of makes sense. Well, yeah, we'll jump into episode three next week, uh, find out what the hell else is going on with all this, and uh, what's going on with the moms. Because that's fucked. Well, yeah, thank you guys for watching with those comments. <laughs> Let us know what you thought of the episode, uh, where we're going from here. How adorable was that kiss? Hmm. But, you know, it's going to blow up in their face. Yeah. Because, like, are they going to back to, back to 63 at some point? I think they got to go back to first season. You got to undo a lot of what things. you did. But you can't go back to season one because that's all gone. You have to go back to 63. To go back to no, the future. No, because they, I mean, they talk about how they're in different timelines. There's several timelines running, and we've seen the different timelines at the, the corporation. What's it called? Right? But, you know, that timeline is impossible to get back to right now. Is it? I think. We'll find out. Because the timeline ended with the end of the world, so you just have to go before back. it ended. We'll find out. It's, I don't know. It hurts Call my brain. Lucky? Hurts my brain. Hurts my brain. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time. Cheers.